It's the Sky Bet Convival Maiden Stakes here at Chepso, a class four maiden for two year olds. Over a mile and a half. Here at Chepstow, we've got border entry number one, Ben Fotheringham. Number two's Lion Star. It's got the number one stall for Alex Cherry, Salazar for Satyam, number three. Number four's the Funky Duck, Joshua Sutherland. Five, Baliamo Conquest, Alex Cherry. Six, Gambling Cante for Davy Lad. Gosse Zolin and Humble Heaven for Danny in number seven and eight. And number nine, and last to post, is Yellow River for Martin Leadham. And they're off and running here. One mile maiden stakes for two year olds and Gosse Zollin bursts out into an early lead for Danny, the grey horse in the all blue silks and he also has the back marker at the moment, humble heaven. So Danny's runners top and tail in the field at the moment, border entry in the pink silks, uh, racing in second place just off the pace, gambling Kande in third in the blue and pink with the yellow hat. A gap of a good few lengths back then to Salazar racing on the inside of Yellow River. Uh, Lion Stars uh, nearest towards the rail and on the wide outside Humble Heaven uh, making some progress there for Danny and that's just pushing and forcing Josh Sutherland's the Funky Duck out widest of all in the back markers currently Baliamo Conquest as they come off this left hand bend and start to straighten up now and passing the five furlong pole it's Gossa Zollin that still has the lead of a good few lengths now over border entry Gambling Candy cruising up on the outside of that one little look over the right shoulder from the jockey just to see where the other challenges are coming from as well so Campbell and Kande being given a confident ride by the jockey at the moment and really starting to eat into Gosse Zollin's lead as we're starting to come towards the three furlong marker. The Funky Duck making some progress down the centre of the track, starting to close the gap, as is Yellow River. Baliamo Conquest and Humbling, uh, Humble Heaven being ridden along towards the rear of the field and things all happening a bit too quickly for Humble Heaven and uh, Baliamo Conquest at the moment. So past the two furlong marker, Gosse Zollin started to extend its advantage but it has set off too quickly as Gambling Kande has now flown past it on the outside and we did see that the jockey was looking supremely confident on this horse gambling can they but still has some work to do as the funky duck and border entry and now starting to eat into that lead and with half a furlong to go gambling can they needs the line as the funky duck is coming up on the outside lion star staying on as well but the line comes you could tell the jockey was confident that he had a lot of horse underneath it about three furlongs from home as it started to make progress and eat into uh, Gosse Zollin's lead, the jockey had a little look over the right shoulder to see where the other horses were, he knew he had a lot of horse underneath him and he was absolutely right because Gambling Kande flew home, uh, opened up a really great advantage hitting the furlong marker and although the Funky Duck and the Lion Star came for it, the horse was perhaps just idling a bit in front because it's won really well for David Robertson in the end. Takes the Skybet Convival Maiden Stakes from the Funky Duck back in second for Josh Sutherland. Lion Star third, Alex Cherry. Fourth was Border Entry for Ben Fotheringham. And fifth, Yellow River for Martin Leadham.